Solving an equation with the variable on both sides, lesson 7.1b. Equations with the variable on both sides can be used to compare costs of real-world situations. We have a variable x here, and it's also on the other side here. We have the variable on both sides of the equation. To solve these equations, we use inverse operations to get the variable term to one side of the equation, one side of the equal sign. Now, as we've learned before in previous years, the inverse of addition is subtraction. The inverse of subtraction is addition. They're opposites. And the inverse of multiplication is division, and the inverse of division is multiplication. Here we have an equation, x plus 3 is equal to 2x minus 1. This is a positive x, and this is a positive 2x. We just don't write that plus sign in front of it, do we? We only do it when it's a negative. We look and see that our variable term here is x, and here is 2x. To isolate the variable term to one side of the equal sign, we could subtract an x from this positive x and subtract an x from this 2x. This is going to make a zero pair. We have a plus x minus x, and we're going to eliminate it. And here, if we have two x's and we take away one x, because remember there's like an invisible one here, we're going to end up with just an x. So now we have 3 is equal to x minus 1. We have a minus 1, so we're going to use a plus 1 to get this x by itself, to isolate it to one side. We do a plus 1 and a plus 1 on both sides of the equation. This minus 1 plus 1 makes a 0 pair and gets eliminated. And on this side, we have a 4. We know that 4 is equal to x. So since these were positive variable terms, we did minus x. And since this was a negative 1, we did a plus 1 to isolate this x alone on one side of the equal sign. But that meant we had to do a plus 1 on this side also to keep it balanced. So here's our first problem. Company A charges an initial fee of $44 plus an additional fee of $25 per month. Company B charges an initial fee of $37 and an additional fee of $38 per month. At what number of months is the total cost charged by the companies the same? So this is what this means. We need to compare the fees for the two companies to find how many months will go by until their fees are equal. And we do this by writing an expression for each company. So remember, equations have an equal sign. Expressions don't. Expressions just contain terms. So for company A, we had $25 plus $44 per month, which is going to give us the expression 25 plus 44x. X is going to be each month. Company B was $37 plus $38 per month. That's going to give us the expression 37 plus 38x. Now we write an equation that can be solved to find the number of months for which the total cost charged by the companies would be the same. We write our two expressions with an equal sign between them. We have 25 plus 44x is equal to 37 plus 38x. Now we can solve our equation for the value of x. We have our equation. And since the variable term 38x is less than 44x, we'll subtract 38x from both sides. This is a positive 38. This is a positive 44. We're going to subtract 38x to make this a zero pair. So I want you to remember that when we see an equation like this, this plus sign goes with that coefficient 38. This plus sign goes with this coefficient 44. We subtract 38 from both sides. This is gone now. We've eliminated it, and now we only have 37 on that side. When we subtract 38 from this side, we get 6x. Now we have 25 plus 6x is equal to 37. We're trying to isolate the x all by itself with no coefficient to one side. 
Since we have a 25 here and a 37 here, we can take away this 25. It's a positive 25, so we're going to do minus 25 from each side. That's going to create a zero pair here. Plus 25 minus 25 makes zero. Now we only have 6x on this side, and now we have a positive 12 on this side. We have 6x is equal to 12. Now 6x means 6 times some number x, 6 multiplied by some number x. The inverse operation of multiplication would be division. So to finish, we divide both sides by this coefficient 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1, so we end up with 1x, but we don't have to write that 1, do we? It's an invisible 1, we just know that's 1x. And on this side we get 2, that means x is equal to 2. And after 2 months, the total cost charged will be the same for both companies. So just to let you know, we can start with the variable term or the constant term. If we started with the variable term, we would subtract 38x from both sides, create that zero pair here and eliminate it, subtract it from this side and get the 6, then we subtracted 25 from both sides and eliminated that 25, so we're left with 6x is equal to 12. Then we divided both sides by that coefficient 6 and got x is equal to 2. Well, we can start with the constant term first, the 25. Since 25 is less than 37, we could subtract 25 from both sides first and eliminate the 25 first. Now we've got 44x is equal to 12 plus 38x. Now we can subtract the variable term with this side right here and create a zero pair plus 38x minus 38x. We subtract it from this side because we have to stay balanced. Whatever we do to this side, we have to do to this side. And we get 6x is equal to 12. We divide both sides by the coefficient 6 and get x is equal to 2. So either way, we find that x is equal to 2. Sometimes it'll make more sense to start with the variable term. Sometimes it might make more sense or be easier to start with a constant term. Either way, we're going to get the same value for the variable. Here's our next problem. A water tank holds 351 gallons, but is leaking at a rate of 4 gallons per week. A second water tank holds 445 gallons, but is leaking at a rate of 6 gallons per week. After how many weeks will the amount of water in the two tanks be the same? Now, they're holding different quantities of gallons of water, and they're also leaking at different rates. This one at 4 gallons a week, this one at 6 gallons a week. We need to use the data to write an expression for each tank, then write an equation from the two expressions to find the number of weeks x that it will take for both tanks to have the same quantity of water. So here we have our expression for the first tank, 351 minus 4x, and here's our expression for the second tank, 445 minus 6x. We use a minus sign. Since the tanks are leaking, they're losing quantities of water, so we have minus on each side. We add 4x to both sides to isolate the variable term to one side. That's our goal. We have a minus 4x, we have a plus 4x, that makes a zero pair and eliminates this. When we add 4x to this side, we go to a negative 2. Negative 6 plus 4 is a negative 2. Now on this side, we have 351, and it's equal to 445 minus 2x. We need to get this variable term to one side, so we subtract 445 from both sides to fully isolate this variable term. We have a plus 445 and a minus 445. That's going to make a zero pair and eliminate it. And on this side, we had a positive 351, but we took away 445. That's going to put us into the negatives with a negative 94. Here, we're just going to drop down the minus 2x the negative 2x. Since negative 2x is multiplication, this is negative 2 times some number x, we're going to use division as our inverse operation. We're going to divide both sides by this negative 2 coefficient. 
When we divide negative 94 by negative 2, we get a positive 47. Do you remember the rules? When you divide and the signs are the same, it makes a positive. And on this side, we get a positive 1x. We know 47 is equal to x, or x is equal to 47. It will take 47 weeks for the two tanks to have the same amount of water. Now, do you see how I did that? I started by removing the variable term that put us into a negative 2 here. I removed the constant term from this side to get this variable term alone, and we ended up with a negative 94 on this side and a negative 2x on this side. We divided both sides by the coefficient negative 2 and got a positive 47 for x. We're finished with part b. We're moving on to c, and we're going to be writing a real-world situation from an equation. Make sure you fully understand this process because this equation, this type of equation, is used a lot in algebra. Have a great day, and join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.